Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Jake Makes. Today, Jake is going to be making a hairspray powered gun using nothing but trash. Thing is mental. Now I've made a number of spud guns like this in the past, most notable being my pistol, which y'all saw in a previous video. I also made a rifle. And I think I have a cannon around here somewhere. What did I do with that? But this is going to be a little different. As a bit of a fun challenge for myself, I decided I'm going to try and build one using nothing but what I can find out in the trash. It's gonna be uh, interesting. And, uh, hopefully I can do it. We shall see. Let's go dumpster diving. Wait a minute, forgot to check this trash can. <laughs> Look at that, perfect. That'll be a perfect combustion chamber. Here's another perfect combustion chamber. And another one. Oh boy, a barrel. <laughs> and an ignition sparker. Perfect. And I mean like, what are the odds of finding all that in the trash can, right? Okay, so I might maybe have staged that just a wee little bit, but but I'm still using trash. It's just that the trash I'm using might maybe have been carefully handpicked and hidden away somewhere safe over the past two or three weeks, you know. Anyway, so here's what I did find. Or carefully hand pick and I got a Gatorade bottle here. It's made of pretty thick plastic. Feels hard. Um, you know, a screw on lid. What is this? A mist twist lemon lime flavor soda. Sprite knockoff, you know. Um, it's a smaller, it's thinner kind of plastic. Not sure how it's going to work. Basically, I just grabbed a bunch of different stuff and we'll test it all, see what works the best, and go with that. And then so, uh, the container for a dishwashing liquid. I found a piece of PVC pipe. That'll work for a barrel. I might try another barrel option too, just for fun. And then a lighter that is completely out of lighter fluid. So, doesn't light anymore, but it's still sparking. And that's what we need. We just need the sparker for this. And I hate to say it, but I'm also going to have to cheat just a little bit more. Don't tell anyone. But uh, we're going to hold the whole thing together with duct tape. Because I have no clue how else to do it. But, I don't, I mean, that's not really cheating. You could find duct tape in the trash. No. Alright, first things first, we need to find out how heat resistant these three different things are. Now to do this, I'm just going to put some propane in them, and then light it off, and see how it handles the heat. Alright, pull the propane. Ah, uh, not good. See, the second this lit off, it just kind of crinkled down and wrinkled up. So, it's safe to say this would not withstand um, many prolonged firings. That maintained its shape pretty well.
All right, Gatorade held its shape pretty well too. So it is going to be between the Gatorade and the dishwasher detergent bottle. Sorry, knockoff Sprite, but didn't make the cut. And then you go ahead and separate the sparker assembly here from the fuel tank. Pull the wires out. That's what we need right there. It is a piezo electric igniter. And if I hold these two wires out, you can see a spark crosses the gap between them. All right, so here's my basic plan. I decided I'm going to be using the dishwasher detergent bottle over the Gatorade bottle. So this is going to be my combustion chamber. This side right here is where you put in your propellant. So this will be towards the back, obviously. Bit of a plan change. I decided that um, I want to get as much power out of this gun as possible, so I'm going to go with a longer barrel. So instead of using this piece as a barrel, basically I'd only get like eight or so inches of barrel length, and I want a longer barrel than that, since I want this to be as powerful as possible. Instead, I went and got another piece of scrap PVC, which is a lot longer, and this will get me a much more powerful gun. This is going to come out the front end, like this, and then off the back end, I have this other scrap piece of PVC. I'm going to attach this right here, a scrap piece of wood, which I'm going to place right here. This is my stock. And then my wires and sparker assembly will fit right in here somewhere. The construction of the gun is now finished. The problem is, there's a lot of gaps right around where I inserted the barrel where gas can escape. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those with hot glue. Since this 
this thing is made out of trash, I don't know exactly what these parts are going to hold. So I am actually going to wear some safety for this. These parts are not designed for holding any kind of pressure, so I really have no clue what's going to happen. So I don't really recommend that you do this at home, but I'm going to. Alright, this is first time without a projectile. So far so good. Get rid of safety as soon as possible. I did not feel any leaks anywhere, so that's a good sign. The bottle held the pressure. Let's try with the dart. Ah. Oh man. At first I thought my dart didn't fire, but uh, it did. There it is, right up there. This is my dartboard, of course, and went into the wall a decent bit. Nice. Pinned my dartboard to the wall. Not as powerful as my pistol, but hey. Not made out of trash. I'll take it. Well guys, that's about all for this video. As you can see, I did somehow manage to succeed in building a hairspray gun completely out of trash. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, like, it's seriously made of trash. And it'll shoot darts through plywood. That's cool. Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Check out.